Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 21st of June 1919, Admiral Ludwig von Reuter ordered the scuttling of the German high seas naval fleet in Scarpa Flow, a large natural harbour in the Orkney Islands of Scotland. The ships had been confined there under the terms of the armistice that ended fighting in the First World War. America had suggested that the fleet be interned in a neutral country, but since neither Norway or Sweden agreed, Britain volunteered instead. The majority of the 74 German ships were in Scarpa Flow by the 27th of November, where they were guarded by the British battle cruiser force. The fleet was manned by a skeleton crew of less than 5,000 men, and this number gradually reduced over the next few months as they were repatriated back to Germany. Negotiations over the fate of the ships took place at the Paris Peace Conference, where the various representatives were struggling to agree on a resolution. While Britain wanted to destroy the ships in order to maintain their worldwide naval superiority, France and Italy each wanted to take a quarter each. Concerned that the entire fleet might be shared out between the victors, Admiral von Reuter, the German officer in charge of the interned fleet, began planning to scuttle, or purposely sink, the ships. Shortly before 11.30, on the morning of the 21st of June, he sent the order to scuttle the ships. By 5pm, 52 of them had sunk. The sailors escaped on lifeboats, but were captured as British prisoners of war. Nine sailors were shot and killed, and this made them the last German casualties of the First World War.